Thank you very much. I welcome you to the treatment of alcoholism part two. It's my humble hope that you enjoyed part one. Now, one of the way in which you can handle an alcoholic, don't make them feel worse. Don't them make them feel as if they have done, they have committed a crime. Don't make them feel that way. If you make them feel that way, you might lose them. Secondly, don't make it easier for them. An alcoholic is going to avoid even the responsibilities at home. Don't be doing everything for them. Don't be doing everything at home. You are going to make life very easy. Also, leave some leave something for them. Don't make things so easy for them. Another point, make home very comfortable for them. If you don't make home very comfortable for them, you are likely to lose them. Some people, they have run away to job. They have got married to work because of the difficult atmosphere at home. Their wives have created a very toxic environment. They are always quarreling, nagging, insulting, and making unnecessary demands. And so these people, there is a way of escape. They are either going to get married to work or you get married to your pombe, you become an alcoholic, so that when you come home, you are demanding wife for your slept. Or if you come married and you don't drink, you are going to become obsessed to your television. You are there the whole night until she sleeps. Or sometimes you excuse yourself and say, I'm going to the nearest market center to watch football match. Please make your home comfortable. What am I trying to say? Do self-reflection. Is your characteristics which you have making your husband run away? Are you making your home comfortable? Or you are creating the push factors which is making home become an Afghanistan? Which is making home become a place to dread? Which is making your husband worry why the office should not have work, should not have been open for 24 hours? He laments, why should you be working from 8 to 5? Now where am I going? You wonder, why can't you not have a day of 25 hours? Don't also stress yourself. Your husband being an alcoholic, don't do that. Don't get that disease. Yes. Then another point, celebrate the small victories. What do I mean by celebrating the small victories? Your husband probably used to spend so many hours, let's say five hours on weekends in the office. But later after you have talked to him, you find that he is spending two hours. Why don't you congratulate him? Tell him, Daddy, you have done great. I'm so happy. You used to be away for five hours, but now I'm happy. I'm having more of you. How I would have wished that we have more hours with you. It's going to help us even kindle the sweet memories, especially the honeymoon times. Finally, lead by example. Walk the talk. Don't blame workaholism when you are also an workaholic. Thank you very much for listening to me. I don't take it for granted. And even for those who have also made this channel, a moment with Rukwaru Pro, I thank up and I greatly appreciate for those who have not subscribed. And so please, I encourage you to subscribe, liking, and even share with your friends. Have a great day. Thank you.